care to be on film, right? Oh, okay. Why not? Why not? Paul Pantone? No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh, I've like... Okay, I did. I'm all, yeah, yeah, you did do it. Yeah, I'm just glad to be here just to physically talk to you. <laughs> Express the fact that I get to shake Paul Pantone's hand. And, uh, this is great. So, who's that uh, cameraman over there? This cameraman uh, is the guy with the arm right here. Oh, okay. Same guy, same, same guy. Trick photography. Yeah. Trick photography. I don't know the camera. This is the way all my films are made. Right? These little, little hovercraft things, you know, just have it following yeah, you around. I, there actually is a drone that will actually do, do that. that. You yeah. can just put your little clip yeah. on and it will follow you. Yeah. That's a pretty cool idea. So, give, for the audience that don't know what a geek is, I'm going to put this on YouTube for people. Okay. Just do a quick, very brief overview of what this device does and what it is. Well, uh, this allows fresh air to be brought in, ambient air, so that you can bring it down to the bottom of the bubbler. When it gets down to the bottom of the bubbler, it bubbles through the liquid that's in there. The vapor is pulled off the top of the morning. The vapor then goes over to the exhaust pipe. The exhaust is coming out of the engine here, going down and out. Mm -hmm. Here's fuel and air going up to the center of the exhaust pipe mm -hmm. and then into the engine. It's a real simple vaporizer. So let's ask this question. What's the most random thing that you've put in one of these and tried? <coughs> and successfully tried? Most anything will work, right? We've tried everything. Yeah. Pickle juice, mountain juice, I've, pee. I've heard there's been pee. Oh, yeah. And there, and there was a very uh, bad a aftermath. <laughs> if, if, if you want to pee in there, you got to watch your jar out. <laughs> I am watching That's your jar out. <laughs> so, um, for people that would like to attend um, one of your classes. I only have two left. Two classes left. That's it. And I'm shutting my doors to the public. I'm okay. only going to be working with yeah. dealers. Okay. Right now we have almost a hundred dealers worldwide. Okay. And it's full time job. Excellent. And those and those are right here. Okay. Running out of time. Yeah. Well, we're trying to also. You can take the fire. I will. I have one. But, just uh, express it to the we're interwebs. We're not going to be teaching anymore to the general public. It yeah. takes too much time. We're not going to be training people to go to a different country, setting up classes. Okay. And it's just not cost effective. Yeah. But can you go to a dealer and be taught? Yeah. We're going to okay. have dealers all over the world. Yeah. So in, in theory... dealers in Canada, Italy, Russia, China. Yeah. Everywhere. And how long has this been out? Like... 36 years. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's awesome, but it's ridiculous. Well, the government doesn't want anyone competing with them in the oil industry. Yeah. So they I get the, it. put roadblocks up. I understand. Yep. I understand. If you go online right now and type in cars that can't be sold in America, yeah. it'll blow your <laughs> That's mind. That's what you're saying. Yeah. It's yes. unbelievable. If you get to that mileage and you don't have enough pollution, we can't have it here. We've got to have pollution and rotten mileage. Yeah. Well, thank you for your well, work. I'm complaining about it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for your work, Paul, and expressing what you have and like. Have fun. I understand where you're at, and where you're coming from, and what you went through to get here, and like I just thank you. A lot of people, they don't understand. Like, they look into it and they're like, oh, wow. You know, it's oh, conspiracy theory. No, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's fact. It's fact. That's right. It's fact. No, I'm into that. All right. Well, there you go. Paul 1951 Tone. National Security Act. Oh, yes. yes. That will blow your mind. 1951 National, National Security, Security Act. Yeah. And you can find it At online. Cornell University. At Cornell University. Catch that? I, that's very important. Uh, 